I want to talk about using YouTube on Linux. In particular, three methods for new users who have just come to Linux. More than likely, you learned how to install Linux on YouTube. And one of the first things you might want to do is use YouTube on Linux. We're going to go through three methods as you might not be familiar with them because they're a little different on Linux. The first one, of course, is using your web browser. By default, you have some sort of a web browser probably installed on your Linux distribution. Here in Ubuntu, it is Firefox. So with Firefox, of course, you can go to youtube.com and get things started and try to play things back. If you get something like try searching to get started, search for something that you like. For example, I'm going to search Linux here and then click on a video. The YouTube algorithm should do its thing and start suggesting more videos to me on the homepage. But a few caveats that I want to mention right away on Linux is one, make sure that you have the appropriate graphics drivers installed on your particular hardware. The most modern open source drivers and or proprietary drivers will help you with better performance on Linux. You can typically install these through the package manager or by going over to activities, searching drivers, loading additional drivers and selecting the proper one and making sure they're available to you. The second thing you should check is hardware acceleration. No matter what browser you're using, I'm going to the About Preferences tab here in Mozilla Firefox. If you're using Google Chrome or something Chromium based, go to the Advanced Additional Settings. Under System Settings or the System section, you, sh you should see Use Hardware Acceleration when available. But here in Firefox, I'm scrolling down until I see Performance and making sure that the Use Recommended Performance Settings is checked on. This will help to use settings that are tailored to your particular computer's hardware or operating system. Since we're using Linux here, we definitely want to make sure that this is selected. Now, if for some reason you're still getting issues, you might want to try unchecking this box to see if you get smoother hardware acceleration, which will bring up another box saying use hardware acceleration where available. You can uncheck this as well and test it that way too. Maybe that fixes it, maybe not, but more than likely you want to use these recommended settings which is the default. Maybe you're fed up with using the browser, so I'm gonna show you the second method. It's a way to install another piece of software that will help you run YouTube videos directly on Linux. I'm gonna hit the search menu after I have the software store open and search for something called Minitube. I'm gonna press enter, and then you'll see Minitube here as a YouTube app. I'm gonna install this real quick, type in my administrative password and authenticate it. This is going to get me Minitube for my particular Linux distribution here. I'm using Ubuntu. Try and search for it with whatever Linux distribution you ended up choosing. Once installed, you'll see this delete button, exit out of the store and search for Minitube. Minitube allows you to start watching videos right away by pasting in a URL and then pressing enter. So you can search for your favorite video and then have a player directly inside of your desktop. Instead of actually going through a browser, I can play one of my videos here by just hitting the play button on the left hand side and you'll notice it's playing right now. One of the downfalls to this particular method is just sometimes you get a bit of a low buffering experience, meaning it's not streaming and downloading the particular video that you want to watch as fast as possible, which can kind of get annoying, but overall it's a great experience. If you want to maximize things, you can up at the top. And then if you go back, you can minimize things so that they show up in this corner. You can also search various different videos as necessary by just using the search feature, turn up and down the volume, press play, pause, and skip. Anyways, Minitube is a great method if you want to watch YouTube videos, particularly on Linux, without having to use the web browser. Finally, I'm going to show you a third method, but before I do, make sure to smash that like button as it helps me out. Think about subscribing below. Let's talk VLC. What is VLC? VLC is a great media player. I don't have it installed by default. So again, I'm going to have to go to the app store or the Ubuntu software center and then search for it. If I type in VLC media or just VLC, it'll probably pop up. Here it is, the ultimate media player. What's fantastic about this is not only does it play YouTube videos, but it can do a whole other host of things. Type in your administrative password in order to get it. It has a bunch of audio and video codecs by default installed with it. And it is one of the best video media players that I've personally ever used in a ton of people. 2,269 ratings, which is massive amount for a Linux application to have. And with that installed, I'm going to exit out and then again, launch it by searching for it. VLC media player here. Once launched, it's going to ask you about 
allowing for metadata network access. I'm gonna hit continue, but what I'm interested in is on the top left media, I'm gonna go down to stream. In stream, I'm gonna go over to network and in network, I'm going to paste the URL for the YouTube video that I wanna watch. If you, if you click on this down arrow, you, you can click in queue, play, stream, convert, any of those work, but stream is really what I want. There's different types of streams. You can select your type below. Mine's HTTPS, so I'm gonna keep that and hit next. The new destination can be varying different types. You can actually save it to a file or just do HTTP, which makes more sense to me as it's a stream. It's just gonna make this display locally. Hit next, hit next one more time. And finally, the stream button will allow your video to play. Give it a few moments. Once it loads the thumbnail, it's ready to play by hitting the play button. How wonderful is that? The video is playing in the background. I can also scroll and buffer through the varying different timeline that I want. Another fantastic way to watch YouTube on Linux. This is probably the most efficient and closest to the Linux operating system itself. I personally like this method the most, but to each their own. Definitely the web browser is the easiest to use, but it all depends on how low level you want to get. Anyways, after learning these three types of ways to run YouTube on your Linux distribution, let me know which one you chose in the comment section below. Catch me in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.